access to safe food is a right to everyone. So there are several benefits that are associated with uh, food safety. One is the health benefits. Number two is uh, food safety is important for even nutrition. Unless the food is safe, you cannot get the benefits of eating the, the foods that you, you, you are able to, to, to access. And then three, um, it's important for livelihoods support. Many people rely on uh, food businesses. So if there is any issue that touches on uh, their foods from, from the food safety perspective, then you are talking about business opportunities that are lost. Again, also for trade and development, both locally, uh, regionally, and also internationally. The, the other one is um, meeting targets that have been set by, by countries, by regions, but even, even at the global level. Uh, the other one is the Sustainable Development Goals by United Nations by 2030. We will not be able to achieve many of those unless the food is safe. It is important that uh, we start by recognizing the, the value or the benefits that uh, come from these markets. The livelihood support, um, but also the, the nutrition uh, and the, the food security support that these markets uh, provide, especially to the low income um, earners. Uh, it is important uh, to engage the players in these markets so that you capture their views and uh, use them in decision making. That way you are able to understand their businesses, the environments where they operate, and therefore it becomes easy to change the traditional narrative that uh, this market sell uh, contaminated products that are likely a risk to, to human to human health. But then you can uh, talk about now bringing in investments to address the food safety gaps that are in these markets. I'll give an example of a peak disease, um, the pork tapeworm, which is caused by the parasite Tinea solium. So the cycle involves uh, humans, but also pigs and the environment where the eggs can be shed. For this disease to be controlled in a population, there has to be interventions that target the human side. Um, for example, training the animal side, for example, confinement, um, and also the environment side, hygiene and sanitation. So unless those uh, work together, it will be difficult to mitigate the risk of that disease. The multidisciplinary collaboration is very important. The, f the first thing is to have investments that consider the entire value chain from production to consumption. Eh? And then number two, promote the use of risk-based approaches to, to food safety. Interventions can target different levels of the value chain. Eh? They can target at the production level. And key here would be uh, disease control at the farm level and the reduced use of uh, antimicrobials. At the market level, the interventions would target um, providing basic food safety infrastructure. Uh, this is safe water, waste disposal, access to toilets, you know, strengthening the, the market management groups. And then also the environment, handling the waste with the, at the environment, especially that comes from uh, animal facilities, farms, slaughterhouses, etc. And then lastly is looking at the consumer level train the consumers about uh, the importance of food safety, hygiene handling of products, but more importantly, empowering them to demand uh, safe products.